Hey, what's going on everyone? Bo HD here. I hope you guys are doing well. Now you might have heard Android 6.0 Marshmallow is now officially available for the relatively modern Nexus devices. I've been running the third developer preview of Android Marshmallow for quite some time now, but I finally flashed the official version and uh, received all the polished new features, including Google Now on tap. So that's kind of what I want to show off right now. So this is it, Android 6.0 Marshmallow running on my Nexus 6. Uh, it's a completely fresh installation, so this is kind of what you can expect to see from a fresh Nexus device. We'll first see on the lock screen, instead of a quick toggle to the dialer app, we now have a quick toggle to activate Google Now, which I think is going to prove to be much more convenient in the long run. The clock widget on the lock screen, it also has been refined with some more stylish fonts. I think it looks pretty good. Android 6.0 now officially works with fingerprint scanners, but the Nexus 6 doesn't have a fingerprint scanner, so we're just gonna go ahead and swipe up to unlock the device. The home screen will look pretty different depending on if you have a clean install of Marshmallow, but this is essentially what it looks like with a, once again, fresh installation of Android Marshmallow. There's a few folders, there's the Play Store app there, uh, a fresh new background, which you might not have seen if you're coming from Android Lollipop. The wallpaper is relatively new. It was found in the developer previews and it looks pretty good in my opinion. If we take a look at the app drawer, you'll see that it now features vertical scrolling and you can search for apps up at the top. You can drag the scroll bar on the right to jump to a specific app in alphabetical order. It's going to take some time to adjust to the vertical layout. Uh, I think the Google Now launcher is already updated to this format as well but uh, I can see why Google implemented it uh, as it's just a lot more natural. Now, if we head back to the home screen and swipe to the right, we will find Google Now, which gives you access to all sorts of information, uh, where your car is parked, how long it takes you to get to work, the weather. Google Now on tap is the biggest new feature of Marshmallow as it will pull up information based off whatever you are viewing on the screen. Say you get a text message from someone wanting to meet at Starbucks, for example, you can just hold down the home button to activate the Google Now on tap and uh, all sorts of information will pop up. You can do a good old fashioned Google search, you can search YouTube or go directly to the Starbucks website. It'll even deliver the closest Starbucks location to you with options to navigate to said Starbucks. Uh, it's pretty fantastic. And this works everywhere, whether it's a tweet, a Facebook post, a news article, it'll pull the most relevant information and deliver you information based off whatever you are viewing. Also, by holding down the home button, you can now speak verbal commands by simply saying, OK, Google. So once again, you can do that anywhere on the device. Permissions are new in Android 6.0. When you install an app, some apps will ask for your permission to use information before you install the app. Apps that are built specifically for Android 6.0 will give you the option to allow or deny permissions once you start using them. Google has also went ahead and added a memory manager, which is in the settings drawer now. You can check out the memory usage of all your installed apps without using a third-party app, and you can monitor how each app consumes memory. If an app eats up too much of your precious memory, then you'll see it here and probably want to do something about it. In addition, you can add a lock screen message in the security tab, which is kind of neat. It's written in lowercase, and it appears to have the opacity of just under 100% making it uh, a bit less bright than the clock. There's also a new section called Battery Optimization, which will show you which apps are optimized. Android 5.0 Lollipop was the first Android OS which really started to embrace a proper battery saving mode uh, or function. But with this new Battery Optimization section, Google will show you exactly which apps are behaving. Uh, you can select the app which you'd like to have optimized or not optimized. That is to say, which app you'd like to have access to mobile data or how freely an app can operate in the background. The last real change here is with the volume controls. They've changed once again. You can now control the volume of your alerts, your music playback or media playback, and alarms all from the convenient drop-down menu. So overall, Android 6.0 Marshmallow looks and feels great on the Nexus 6. It's still buttery smooth and fluid even though it is running on a year-old device. Now, if you expect Android 6.0 Marshmallow to look radically different than Lollipop, you're probably gonna be disappointed, but there are so many behind the scenes changes and little feature implementations here and there that really make this operating system feel like its own. I can totally see why Google wanted to give Android Marshmallow its own number. With that said, let me know how you like Android 6.0 Marshmallow running on the Nexus 6. Stay tuned for upcoming Marshmallow tour videos and just videos in general about Android 6.0 Marshmallow. I'm BoHD from PhoneDog.com. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. 
and I will see you right back here in the next one. See ya.